You're watching Cookies After Dark by The Fab Five, Alexandra, Amanda, Corinne, Enrique, and Manuela. The basic plot for our management project TV show features college student who starts up a late night cookie delivery service with the help of his two roommates. Now, the college student who starts up the cookie business is Ryan, and his two roommates are Michael and John. And the boys develop a website where customers can place their orders, and the boys bake the cookies accordingly in their dorm room oven. As you can see, you know, this is a very basic business, and it's easy to do, and it's manageable for college students to create a cookie business. So it's not a TV show that's, you know, far out of line and not possible. And the business becomes an instant success at USFSP, the university that the boys attend. And the boys come up with this idea to expand to other Florida universities. And basically, they're wanting to franchise the Cookies After Dark business. Now, Ryan, the creator of Cookies After Dark, wants to focus on his studies rather than expand the business. And his two roommates, John and Michael, decide to consult with their parents to see if they should move forward with the business or expansion. Both sets of parents agree to help the boys with the finances and logistics. Now, Ryan is an aspiring business student who comes up with the idea to bake cookies and deliver them to dorm rooms as a way to make extra money. Ryan is studious and often quiet. However, when in a small group setting, he works very well. Ryan likes baking because it requires precision. Each measurement and task is important in order to create fluffy cookies. As a result of his type A personality, he developed a contingency plan to create alternative solutions to issues. For example, if he has an exam on a delivery date, Michael, his roommate and other business partner, will deliver the cookies for him. Also a main character in Cookies After Dark is Michael. He is one of Ryan's roommates and business partners. He comes up with the idea to expand Cookies After Dark. Michael is a born businessman and he is constantly thinking about the operation side of the business. When the company first got started, Michael recruited students to deliver cookies in exchange for free cookies. He likes to analyze competitors by benchmarking. Now, the mother and father of Michael are Mr. and Mrs. Washington. Mr. and Mrs. Washington help the boys with expanding cookies after dark. Now, unlike John's parents, the Washingtons ask a few questions. After the questions are asked, the Washingtons give the boys a small loan and they only want free cookies as an interest payment. John is the third roommate to be introduced into the Cookies After Dark television show. Now, John takes Michael's side and joins him in expanding Cookies After Dark. John is a relaxed student. He is often late or skipping class. John's passions are longboarding and food. He loves the cookie business because he is able to eat and talk to people. He enjoys the delivery side of the business because he likes to figure out the fastest ways to longboard across campus. He's a great team player and often serves as the devil's advocate. Now his parents are Mr. and Mrs. Hazelton. Mr. and Mrs. Hazelton help the boys with expanding cookies after dark. John's parents are entrepreneurs that want to help their son with his venture. They are also demanding the boys make and create a 27 page business plan before giving them the seed money needed to expand. In episode one, the pilot episode, we are introduced to Cookies After Dark and the business model itself. The boys have to look at whether or not expansion is a good idea. Their business has been booming and they're thinking about opening up different shops in other school areas like FSU and UF. They have to use decision making processes to help them. Their group is cross-functional, meaning that it's composed of many different people from different skill sets trying to come up with a common goal. Each member of the team runs a different part of Cookies After Dark, so they work together to find a solution. They use problem-solving problem skills to do so. Ultimately, they have to look at the opportunity cost, the opportunity that one is giving up to take on a different project. For instance, Ryan would be giving up his studies to pursue the expansion, and he decides he doesn't want to expand the project. Michael and John, however, are unsatisfied and are looking at more tactical plans on how to actually do this. So overall, the boys have to decide how to develop a good business plan that will establish all the needs of every member.
In episode two, Michael and John discuss the expansion of Cookies After Dark upon graduation, but they decide to not wait that long. The episode explores the concepts of task differentiation as Michael and John divide up the responsibilities of expanding a business. Michael and his parents take on the task of creating a detailed business plan and handling the logistic sides of running a business, including monitoring inventory. John and his parents, on the other hand, take over the financial side of the expansion and focus on getting loans, making payments, and tracking the revenue. The negotiation process took place between Michael and John as they decided who would take on each task. Michael and John came to the conclusion that John would be better at taking care of the financial responsibilities due to his parents having a background in finance and Michael's parents own their own business and have experience in the behind the scenes aspect of a business. They had to learn that each decision moving forward would be for the sake of the business and that every detail going into planning process of expansion was very important. In this episode, they learned task differentiation, how to negotiate, and how to really compromise based on what each other wanted, as well as communication because they had to communicate not only with each other, but with their parents and to get funding from their parents. They had to learn to monitor and evaluate results by showing their parents how their business had been going and working thus far and using that to help create an ROI of possible future revenues. They also learned operation management by understanding that they would have to create a more systematic approach to management as they started growing and hiring more employees. And they were introduced to the concepts of strategic management from Michael's parents. Our group came up with some general conclusions about management based on our TV show and our group project. For starters, it's important to have a good manager-employee relationship that includes direct communication. Second, it's important to have a code of conduct or some sort of code of ethics so that people know what to do in certain situations. Thirdly, customer service is really important, and we saw that in Cookies After Dark. Communication skills go along with this, and it's important to communicate clearly and effectively. Collaboration skills. One of the most important things is being able to have empathy and understand what someone else is going through. Critical thinking skills is also important because there are a lot of challenges that employees and managers face. And lastly, product differentiation. Being able to have a product that stands out and understanding your competitive advantage when you are looking at your business. I've learned a lot of real life concepts in this management class and I think I've learned more in this class than in any other class I've taken. I've learned a lot not only in the concepts from the textbook and the lectures, but also from the work I've done with my group. This uh, group project has been nothing like I've ever done before. It's very um, high functioning, and especially for a group that doesn't really have to meet in person. Um, we've all put in a lot of work and a lot of time and have made some great projects, and I'm very proud of that. Along with that, we've done so well that we also hit a bump in the road, and I think we all learned a lot about accepting responsibility and just moving forward with it, and we're trying our hardest to get the best grade in this class as possible. Overall, I'm very happy I've taken this class. It actually encouraged me to take up a minor in management, and I'm excited to see where these concepts will help me in my life. In this management course and working with the Fab Five this semester has been quite challenging but also rewarding. I have learned many life lessons such as not procrastinating and learning to communicate at all times. Throughout the semester it has been difficult to keep up with the tasks but again it has been rewarding knowing that I was able to accomplish all the assignments that were due. This class is definitely a hands-on management course even while online. While taking this online course I realized that you have to multitask because most people take online courses to um, create more time for themselves. But again, taking this management course online has taught you how to manage your classes and manage uh, the assignments that were a task that week. Um, lessons that I would give to the students is to always communicate with your team members, especially if it's online because you're not gonna meet with them as often. Um, communication is key and we learned that um, during our midterm presentation that 
um, you need to communicate at all times and make sure that you know how to complete an assignment and if you do not message the professors ahead of time and do not procrastinate on that project so that, that you do not mess up the day that it is due and then you're not able to fix it. Um, again, this management um, class has just been beneficial it, it just taught me so many lessons and I would just recommend many people to take it because you're not going to really learn from a textbook most of the time you need to learn from examples and this management course has definitely taught us multiple examples of how to manage. Hello my name is Alexandra I would like to share my thoughts about our finger puppet management team. Over the course of semester I have learned the importance of teamwork and communication. My team and I uh, have communicated well through the semester and everyone has worked very hard to put everything together. Overall, I am happy with what we had accomplished as a team. This course helped me to learn important concepts of management and this project has reassured me that teamwork and communications are one of the most valuable management skills. This semester I learned a ton from this group project, specifically how to work as a team and a group together to get things done. I learned how to differentiate our tasks to really work on certain things and to focus on each other's skill sets and how to communicate and how to effectively take that communication and pass it along to everyone else, as well as how to delegate tasks and overall what to do when things go wrong. I learned a lot about troubleshooting and how to put things in place so that you prevent uh, issues from happening, happening in the future. Through creating this project, I can certainly say that I learned a lot along the way. This was the first long-term group project that I've had, and I feel that we worked very successfully as a team. The group work we completed was incredibly crucial to my learning experience. I was able to better understand and apply managerial topics through completing this project for sure, and I learned from my group members as well. After this project, I can confidently say that I can now work better in groups, and I've been able to develop my understanding of the managerial topics. I had a lot of fun creating the episodes and developing the characters with my group members. We got along so well and it's kind of bittersweet to see the project finally come to an end. Our biggest recommendation is to submit an earlier deadline just in case anything goes wrong, you have time to fix it. Secondly, if you are in doubt about anything, just ask. Email the professor, email Jessica, just clarify whatever you're doubting. We also recommend that you plan for mistakes because technology will fail and you shouldn't rely on it. So just keep that in mind and plan for when the things don't go right. And lastly, take the time to actually meet your teammates. If you do that, I'll make the whole semester a lot easier. I recommend doing this at the beginning of the semester to set a good foundation.